Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about photoconductive cell and how does the photoconductive work. <music> video we are going to talk about one of the type of the transducer which is known as photoconductive cell and it is also known by another name which is called as LDR. This LDR stands for light light dependent resistor. The name itself light dependent resistor is enough to explain the working of photoconductive cell. Basically photoconductive cell is consist of a resistor which is totally depending on the presence of light or I can say that the resistance of the material which consists of this photoconductive cell is consist of such a kind of material whose resistance can be varied with the help of the light. If light is producing such that the resistance is changes in presence of light or in the absence of light, I can say that this is helping us to produce the voltage across any load. What I can say that if we have a resistor, let's say this is a resistor and we are using this symbol so that we can differentiate it with normal resistor. Now it is a resistor such that its resistance will be vary when we apply some light. So when they are kept in dark light or I can say that no light is present. So it will produce very high resistance. And if we are placing them in light the resistance will decrease. This is what actually happening in this resistor. Now if I want to describe LDR what I will do that I can say that it is a type of passive transducer. It is not generating any voltage. Just resistance is varying on the basis of the light. We are just changing one form of energy into another. We are not producing, we are not generating any energy. That's why it is a kind of passive transducer. So let us talk about the basic principle of photoconductive cell or LDR. When a photosensitive material is exposed to light such that its conductance is varying, such a kind of material is known as photoconductive cell because it is depending on light. Now, whenever the conductance, whenever the conductance is varying such that because of the light, in presence of light, this conductance is increasing. Let's say light is present. So conductance is increasing and in dark this conductance is decreasing. So this is the basic principle or the basic logic behind the photoconductive cell. Now let us talk about the construction of the photoconductive cell. Photoconductive cells basically consist of this material cadmium sulfide, cadmium selenide, lead sulfide. So these materials are deposited on the insulating devices such that we can expose them to light and that light will vary the resistors. Now how we can use this all the resistors in our daily life? Let's say that this is my LDR. When it is exposed to air, it is exposing in the presence of light. Now, what I can say, whenever this resistance, this material is placing in the presence of light, that light consists of nothing but the photons. As we know that every material consists of some particles. 
we are not going inside the detailing of the particles that what type of particle is actually participating we are just interested in understanding the working so what we can understand when the light is exposing on this material this photosensitive material this particle will receive the energy in the form of photons and they will get excited when they are getting excited while receiving the energy the resistance will decrease or i can say conductivity will increase on receiving the energy so this is how we can understand the working of light dependent resistance that by receiving the energy the particles will get excited and because of this excitation the conductivity will increase similarly when they are not receiving an energy they will not get excited and the conductivity will not increase or i can say that they will show the high resistance so this is what the working of photoconductive cells let us talk about the application of the photoconductive cell that as they are highly sensitive transducer because they are consisting of this photosensitive material of course this material will change its property just on the basis of the presence of light that's why they are highly sensitive in nature and their application is in this alarm burgle alarm next one is the photo relay third one is in the lux meter fourth one is to generate the counting pulses in the counter applications whenever we are trying to design a circuit which can count the pulses we are always interested in this ldr we will discuss this photo relay that how we can actually using this ldr in a particular type of application so that we can understand the working of ldr in a part of system if it is a part of some system that ha then how we are actually trying to use its property let us look at the photo relay so this is the whole diagram of the photo relay now it is consist of two transistor t1 and t2 and this r2 and this is r1 and this is r2 this r2 is nothing but our ldr i am differentiating it with the help of this symbol so that i can understand yes it is a ldr as the pres the circle and the presence of light now we are this r2 is keeping in dark we are so the r2 is not exposed to the light if this r2 is in dark it means that high voltage is producing across the r2 this high voltage will keep the t1 as on if t1 is on we have a high voltage across base so t1 is on and due to the t1 there is a less current will flow at the collector side and that's why t2 is also on if the whole circuit is in on condition then we can use this circuit for the alarm now if we are exposing r2 to the light when the light is exposed to r2 then the resistance will decrease if the resistance will decrease this resistance is decreasing so t1 will be off similarly t2 will also be in off state when they are in a off state the whole circuit will be in a off state so what we can say that there will be no connection at the output side it will be in a off state this is how we can actually use ldr by keeping our circuit in a on state and off state we are actually keeping them in on and off state with the help of ldr when they are exposing to some light or not this is what how we can actually use the property of ldr in a particular type of circuit thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekeda and subscribe to ekeda